Okay, October 21st. Um, this is one of those days where I find something that I have to, I, don't, I never knew and I have to go back and do a little research just to make sure uh, um, I understand what's going on. Well, on this date in 1971, Richard Nixon nominated two people to the United States Supreme Court, Lewis Powell and William Rehnquist. Um, we had two Supreme Court justices die within a week of each other. And so Richard Nixon got the chance to nominate two people on the same day. Um, I thought, well, that must be the only time that's ever happened. Of course, unless you go back to George Washington when he nominated the original six Supreme Court justices. So when I did my research. There are multiple times when this has happened, usually because Congress added a Supreme Court seat. Uh, because the Supreme Court is not, um, the size of the court is not set in the Constitution. It's set by the, the Congress. Congress can change it at any time. So it started at six, it went to seven, to nine, to 10 was the maximum, and then back down to nine, and that's where it stayed. Um, basically, when I was at 10, they had somebody die, um, and they didn't want Andrew Johnson to, to nominate somebody, so they didn't fill it, and then just let, the go, let it go back to nine, and then they fixed it at nine um, in the 1860s. So it's been that way ever since. Um, but going back, um, FDR actually got to nominate. Uh, he put in three nominations on the same day. What well, was two new people to the court, and with the death of the chief justice, or the retirement of the chief justice, then he he elevated somebody to chief justice. So that had to go also to the the Congress for approval, and then the nomination of the other two justices to fill the seat of the of the two retired justices. So he got to do three in one day. Um, uh, Grant, Jackson. Um, Taft um, all got to do multiples on the same day but in all those other cases it was because the size of the court had changed so um, anyway uh, that's what I had for you today uh, uh, Richard Nixon nominates two people including William Rehnquist to the Supreme Court I will see you tomorrow